Well, happy Wednesday, First Baptist family. It is a beautiful day on Tuesday as we're video recording this. Uh, it's just been a wonderful week already, and I'm looking forward to sharing with you Sunday from a very, very special place as we're going to talk about uh, God and the coronavirus. And who do we blame? There's a lot of blame going on in our world right now. And what do we do? Do Christians look for somebody to blame or do we look for something to do? I think you already know the answer, but let's join together and study God's Word together on Sunday. But uh, we're also going to have a, a very special event Sunday when we worship. We're going to have our first uh, online child dedication. It's already been videoed, and I promise you're going to love it. You're going to want to participate in singing Jesus Loves Me and praying for a great family. It'll be a special day. I'm here on our playground today. On a typical day, there would be children everywhere in this playground, but right now is not a typical day. So I just wanted to come here to remind you of the joy of this place and the joy of children. You know, sometimes we, uh, we get lost in the busyness. Right now, I know families that are really just kind of stressed out from trying to be work-from-home parents and almost homeschooling assistant teachers as we have school online and a lot of you are working from home and you're trying to combine those tasks of being parent and employee and assistant teacher and it's just very, very stressful. So I want you to know we're praying for you and I want you to know that that Jesus knew the love of children in a way that his disciples couldn't even understand. Do you remember in Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16, there were people bringing their children to Jesus to be blessed, and the disciples did the most unusual thing. The Bible says that they, they rebuked those parents. And the disciples were hardworking guys. They were fishermen. They were probably up all night long. And in that society, they probably had very little, if anything, to do with parenting. They had to go make a living, and I'm sure their wives took care of the children. But in this moment, they are so insensitive. That word rebuke means to sharply criticize. Can you imagine being rebuked by Simon Peter? Well, the tables turned pretty quickly. The Bible says that when Jesus discovered what they did, he was indignant. Now, I don't want to be rebuked by Simon Peter, but I sure don't want to arouse the indignation of Jesus. Jesus went on to tell them, if you want to be in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to have to be like one of these little children. So right now, whether you're teaching right now or parenting or maybe grandparenting or maybe you're just thinking about the next day and the next day and the next day. Maybe it's a good time to look at your child or grandchild or a, a picture of them or a video and just be reminded that while Simon Peter rebuked them with the other disciples, it was Jesus who looked at them and said, the kingdom of heaven is just like these. In just a moment, you're going to hear Brent sing, Your grace is enough. And I hope you're finding Jesus' grace to be sufficient for this day and for all the days to come as we look forward to being back together whenever that is feasible. But in the meantime, enjoy Brent's song, and we'll pray together just in a moment. So remember your 
As we pray together today, I want you to join me in praying for our committee that's looking at the prospects of how we'll reopen. That's a daunting task, and there's a lot of data to look at. But I know that you're confident in the folks we've got. Our chair, David Lane and Chris Glasscock, Lyle Elshai, Linda Fisher, Drew McElroy, Marta Waite, and myself. I hope you'll be praying for us every day and for our church, and continue to pray for those on the front lines in our health care. Let's pray together now. Lord God, for this good day, we're grateful. For another reminder that this is the day you have made, and we ought to rejoice in it. We're thankful. Help those who are parenting and grandparenting from home while they're also working to be blessed today with your grace, with the presence of love and life in their lives, and allow us this week to show your grace to others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.